The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm doing a product review of a Pow Kitty X18. What this is, is it's an Android handheld gaming device that emulates classic consoles. I'm going to showcase some of the features in it, as well as demonstrate some of the emulators I downloaded and tried on it. Let's check it out. So here's the packaging that comes with the Pow Kitty X18. Simple black box, instruction poster that can fold out, comes with your USB cable to, to charge your handheld when it batteries are low, a warranty card. The actual handheld is pretty nice. It reminds me of a 3DS XL, kind of a cross between that and an Xbox One controller. And so, you know, it's got some cool f extra features. You, it can double as a PS3 and Xbox 360 controller. Select start, four buttons, face buttons, dual analog on top. There's some simple buttons that help you navigate pretty much the menu of the handheld. I like where they're placed. It's nice. And on the back has one of the coolest features. You can plug this into a monitor or HDTV using an HDMI C-type cable. Really cool that it has that feature. It also has a micro SD card slot. Doesn't come with a micro SD card though. I had to use my own. Has a nice button layout. A nice design, a little bulky. It is pretty heavy, but what I like about it, it has enough buttons to accommodate really anything in the PlayStation PSP era. The specs of the Pow Kitty X18 are often compared to another device, the GPD XD. Some features on that are better, others are better on the Pow Kitty. So here are the specs, pretty decent, can run many things. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of the setup of this device, which is actually kind of the worst part about it. While I like this Android handheld, it is not a plug and play. This is not a plug and play device. You have to set things up. You have to customize things. If you're looking for something that you buy, they have a bunch of ROMs on and ready to go. This is not your device. And so the, the, the way things are laid out on this handheld are cumbersome. I don't like the setup. Hopefully it can be modded or hacked down the, down the road. And so, uh, using the analog stick, you have three subcategories on the left-hand side here. I added this as kind of like an app store where you can download apps. And I, I just downloaded it on my computer and then transferred it from the micro SD onto this device. You know, well, this is where I got that. And this is actually Happy Chick. And this is kind of a service that you can play games and they offer games. It's kind of a, a service that you, you go to using the internet. And so I, I didn't like this. I, I decided to just download separate emulators and go that route. So it comes with a couple games. This is a decent looking Android game. And so, yeah, you know, okay, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but anyways, check that out. Just the setup for this handheld device is pretty terrible. You go here to Tool. Now, Tool is really important because it has File Manager. And so, right here, this is all your internal shared storage. And so, what I've done, and it makes things easier for apps, is, here you go, this is pretty much where you take your, your apps and your ROMs, and then you can copy them over to internal storage and so I just did that and you, I just made went to games and it has a lot of these already set up for you without games in them and then that's where you plop into your games is actually on the handheld so that's the easiest way again this is not an easy thing to set up it takes a while this is entertainment this is where you can install things you can install uh, you know I, Google Chrome you can install Microsoft Edge and so uh, I'm just going to show you this up here. This is one of the main things I want to show you and you know using this people had issues with the screen and this is using a simple test and it's running 60, 60 plus and so there's no screen issues with this device. There's 
some early reports that maybe some early models of this were not running at 60 hertz. It is running at 60 plus, and so I want that to be known. All right, I'm gonna show you that N64 runs pretty decent on this. As you can see, it's, it's running Bond. Very hard to play this while filming. It's running great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some emulation as best as I can. All right, this is Tekken 6. We'll go ahead and just get you going. Round one. one thing is you have to spend a lot of time on getting some of these to, to, to work correctly. And this is not perfect, but it run, it's run pretty good. I mean, I could tweak it. I could probably tweak with it more and show you that it is running optimally but you know it's it's not perfect but definitely it's it is playing the game decent i think it's definitely playable the screen is really nice and vibrant really a great way to play some classic handheld especially game boy game boy looked amazing on this just want to show it quickly on here Game Boy is just, it looks great on here. Nice big screen. Five and a half inch screen, just a heads up. All right, that's for you, Reg. Pretty much want to show this game quickly. This is a great game. It's going to be a little bit hard to play, but wanted to show it on the screen. Looks fantastic. Nice full color. Nice bright screen. This is definitely a cool way to play Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Yeah. Playing great. I was able to get a working Wonder Swan color emulator on this. Really think it's pretty cool that it can offer these types of, you know, oddball game consoles and handhelds that, you know, weren't necessarily popular. Can't believe there's a golden axe for Wonder Swan color. So this is kind of cool. Oh, time to use magic. Yeah, take that. So there you have it. This is a decent gaming device. It's not perfect. It's not for everybody at 120 bucks. Yeah, it's, it gets up there. It makes you wonder, you know, should I get a Vita? Should I get a PSP? Should I get something else? Should I get a Switch Lite? And so this is going to be for somebody that wants to tinker. If you are looking for something that has all the ROMs and everything set up for you, this is not your device. You know, there's also some other devices done by other companies that are, are close to comparison of what this offers. I don't know. It's not going to be for everybody. I think it's a decent device. What do you think? Comment below. I think it was okay. It was much better than I thought it was going to be. And so I'm, I'm curious to see what's the next evolution of these devices. They're always coming out with new ones. Comment below what you think of this. And thank you so much for continuing to tune into my humble channel as I march towards 90,000 subs. I'm getting closer every day. Thank you for the support. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.